My God, unbelievable pessimism that's going through the cryptocurrency market. On the other side, it happened like 10 days ago almost. We had found that the cryptocurrency has found a bottom over here. Uh, yesterday I was looking at the news and the news was so pessimistic and all of the analysis were coming so pessimistic just because we had a deeper correction. A lot of people became optimistic when prices jumped up over here and then we had a little correction and then we have seen a double top right over here too. We're going to talk about all about this. This is the classic uh, psychological structure that we are seeing. Not only I'm not talking about the the the, the technical indicators, that the technical structure that we are seeing in the wave, it's the psychological uh, indication that is giving us that pessimism is at its peak uh, right now we are talking about. There was also a concern uh, that uh, maybe uh, crypto is attached to the NASDAQ 100 and they were going along good for a good while together. So I had a couple of good comments section. I'm not nothing thing. So there was a concern in my head too that is that uh, going to be uh, working together that NASDAQ is going to move together with cryptocurrency or cryptocurrency is going to move together uh, If you are following me you are well aware of that I am bullish on cryptocurrency and I'm bearish on the stock market in general uh, which includes NASDAQ, Dow Jones, S&P 500, FTSE, um, Crutchy Stock Exchange and uh, um, Indian Stock Exchange which is Nifty 50 yeah Nifty 50 so we're going to talk about what we're going to talk about what's going on in this in the in the cryptocurrency world right now we're going to see uh, bitcoin and ethereum we're trying to analyze it here is if you guys are unaware of the analysis uh, and then in my uh, as per my analysis i gave this indication that we have definitely seen uh, the end of the previous structure which actually started halfway from over here and initially it started from over here and I gave an analysis as per a combination of WD GAN analysis, Elliott Wave analysis, uh, cycle analysis combined together. There's a high possibility that we have created a bottom in the cryptocurrency. And uh, I was sitting here, actually, uh, right over here, and I was myself, I'm asking myself, I'm like, what's happening? We have seen a deeper correction. Is it going to go further down? And all of a sudden, just a couple of hours ago, we have seen this beautiful, amazing candle. And that I'm like, oh, there it is. The here, so we're going to discuss it. There's a high probability of, first of all, uh, a bottom being created in cryptocurrency right over here, too. We're talking about Bitcoin right over here. So uh, we can clearly see that we have clearly seen an impulsive wave followed by a corrective wave. I think that we have already seen a bottom in cryptocurrency. And we are going to go up right over here, too. In my previous analysis, I told you guys, and I have discussed that in the comment section as well. Uh, since we have completed the previous structure, what we're going to do is now either we are going to create an X wave of the same degree, which uh, by the look of it, you guys can tell that at least we are going in that area, right over here in this area. Or if we have completed the correction over here, in that case, we are actually in the beginning, in the very, very early stages of the bullish move that we are seeing in the cryptocurrency. Uh, we still need some indications. Uh, I'm, I know I'm, I, I sound really optimistic and I sound really passionate about it, but we still need a couple of confirmations and that confirmation, you guys are right, uh, we will get those confirmations when the price actually comes out of this channel that we have seen. So this channel is important. Another indication would be if we can actually uh, come out of the horizontal resistance, that's the one of those. So either we can actually wait for 32,000 to be crossed and the minimal thing that we are seeing right now and it's it looks in, it looking very promising uh, there's a high chance that we will be able to cross that definitely it looks very um, you know it looks pretty solid that we have an impulsive corrective and this will go further up. So uh, my p point that I wanted to discuss is that news uh, is working on one A and it news are um, are written by human beings and they are read by human beings. It displays absolutely uh, what the, the, the mood of the public is. And it has been found that all these extremes not only occur in prices and volume, but these extremes occur in the moods as well. So we are right now at the extreme bottom uh, of uh, moods. Uh, people are talking about the um, there is a major layoffs going to be happening in the cryptocurrency world. 
and also since there is a major major concern and as per my previous analysis I told you guys that I have a, a cycle analysis indicating that we have reached at the very important uh, peak in the in the history of stock market and a major depression is expected I already indicated it to you guys so I'm um, I myself of a view that we're gonna see a depression I'm not talking about correction in the stock market or as a minor one I'm talking about a major depression uh, you can look at that analysis on my YouTube channel page uh, so right now I'm point of view there was a concern as I said that there is a concern that there is possibility that since cryptocurrency and Nasdaq were moving forward and since there is a depression expected uh, or a crash expected uh, for you know at least a year or so in that case cryptocurrency is going further down things are looking differently uh, and my reasoning was because the underlying structure in stock market is completely different to the underlying structure that we have seen in cryptocurrency so I think there's a lot of going to be interesting stuff is going to be happening and I want you to bring that point back into action so right now I'm going to consider this as a smaller wave one and a smaller wave two and I'm pretty uh, sure that we're going to see impulsive price action especially in next uh, week or so to come in cryptocurrency let's have a look at ethereum and see what's doing so ethereum is kind of uh, going through uh, a similar uh, action that we have seen here nothing has changed uh, although ethereum is very close to the bottom we have seen a bit of jump which is not as strong as we have seen in bitcoin um, but it's still if you look at an order hourly time frame we have seen quite a good of jump good amount of jump and I think this behavior would continue once again we can actually look for an impulsive which is impulsive a B and C which is three wave structure three wave structure and a five wave structure so it looks to me that we have probably completed the bottom of uh, right over here too and we are not going to consider this as uh, as a bottom you know anything can happen so right now I'm going to consider this as a bottom impulsive and this whole move if correct is the next few days are going to be very very interesting in the world of cryptocurrency wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye